Hi, it's Joe at Reds here. I'm downstairs in the warehouse. On today's video, you are going to go fishing with me and I'm gonna fish the G Loomis IMX Pro Euro Rod 10 foot two way. So uh, this is one of our featured rods in a monthly giveaway. If you've not been a part of our monthly giveaways, uh, check out the link in the video description or go to our website, redsflyfishing.com. You can go to the bottom, get in the giveaway. Um, but anyway, this month we're giving away this very rod. Um, I fished this rod a fair bit, but we never did a review up until now because we had such a hard time getting inventory during pandemic. So if you're just interested in the details of the rod, you can skip past the fishing toward the end of the video. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you some fishing and then uh, with a few tips outside the rod, just general Euro fishing advice tips findings about the rod, um, but I will show you more details on the rod and kind of my thoughts on it uh, after the fishing. So skip ahead if you want, or go fishing with me. You might learn a couple of things and come along for uh, an adventure that was way colder, way windier, and way rainier than I was ready for, uh, but we did end up getting a couple of fish. I'm not gonna lie, this fishing has been really tough. Right up until that fish right there. Oh, that's a nice trout. So I came out today to do a, a review on this IMX Pro and I kind of planned on doing it today. And man, I've been out here for like an hour and a half and I'm not gonna lie, that was my first hookup. And I'm on my home turf, Red's Fly Shop's like literally right around the corner. I know these trout and uh, it took me a while and I'll download you on some of the the things I tried that didn't work here in a bit, but this IMAX Pro is a is a fantastic rod, and uh, I'll give you a full kind of sit down review at the end of my fishing day. But one thing right off the bat, I'm going to point out to you is I like that little fighting butt on this 10 foot two weight. That is an absolute great addition to the two weight. So let me bring him up here. Let's go. Oh, what fly did he eat? There we go, got him. So I'm gonna keep him wet, give you a good look at that trout. Nice, nice rainbow from my own backyard right here. Oh, the hook's already out. That's why we use a real, true, actual barbless hook. So fishing's been tough. And uh, you know what, I'll just kind of give you the down low, give you some advice, and then I'll review the whole rod and kind of give my thoughts on it at the very end. It's, it's challenging out here today. One thing that you, you've got to do, if you're going to fish a big river like this with check gear or Euro nymphing, we're just going to use the two terms synonymously, is you've got to break the river up into a little piece. And even if you don't choose the right little piece of river, You've got to fish it like real intently and really thoroughly. And what was happening to me right off the bat is I only had really a couple of hours set aside to come out today. And I was just hurrying. I was switching my flies too much and I was fishing a little bit too big and too heavy. And what happens when you switch around too much, all of your perception of what's the bottom, what's a trout, when am I in contact with the bottom, when are my flies loose and up in the column, which I don't like to fish my flies loose and up in the column with, with these setups at all. And when you switch around a lot, even with my experience, I'm all over the place. I can't tell when I'm in contact, when I'm not, and what's a subtle bite and what's not. And I should have just stayed the course and stayed with the same flies right off the bat. Instead, I was throwing stone nymphs and throwing worms and throwing March Brown nymphs and throwing this and that. And I don't know that the fly has a, a you know a huge difference, but um, I'll kind of talk you through how I have my setup. Uh, I'm not a, a super long mono leader guy. Uh, I like a traditional Euro nymphing line. Uh, there's links to all this stuff in the video description. And uh, the setup I'm running, I'm running um, a French dip with the biggest bead size available. I think it's a 3.3 on the bottom. And I'm keeping these pretty tight just because the water is a little bit murky. And I'm keeping this tag I, I got tangled a few times, and I know this looks cumbersome on video, it's really not. I got tangled and got some spins a few times, and I was getting tired and frustrated, so I went ahead and ran a really short tag to a TNT beta snimp uh, on the top, and the fish uh, took the TNT beta snimp. 
So that's my setup, and I've only got about four or five feet of tippet because I'm trying to fish these shallow edges, but just when you're struggling a little bit, find a little piece of water that you know there's fish there, take a deep breath, slow down a little bit, and don't change up your weights a lot. It's okay to change flies, but like I said, I was just, I was kind of just uncertain what was bottom, what was fish, and I stuck with the same flies for about five minutes, and it made a huge difference in just feet, and I stayed in the same spot with the same current and the same depth for about five minutes, and it made a huge difference in my ability to decipher when I'm in contact versus when I'm having a bite versus up in the column, and my, my fishing cleaned up a lot. And that's the biggest factor is presentation is always going to be the most important. So uh, I'm going to get back to fishing. Uh, and uh, at the end of the video, I'll go through the whole detailed review of the rod. So skip ahead if you want, but that's where we're at right now. And uh, if you don't know this, there's a link in the video description. But this is our featured um, giveaway for this month as the IMX Pro Euro. All right. That didn't take long now that I'm... And I think I missed this fish once or and twice. And this one's but... not quite as big, but that's still a nice trout. Let's take a look. Looks aren't yeah. true barbless when you get them. Pinch them very thoroughly. But the tip of these Euro rods is just so critical that it it's not just about the... It's, it's partially about sensitivity and just feeling what's going on. But it's also that tip also has to lift that fly up off the bottom just right. So when the fly binds up and makes contact with the bottom... The rod tip can't be so so powerful that it loads up and launches your fly up off the bottom. The two way for me, if you're fishing mid-sized water, is really like an easy choice, an easy go to, because the tip of that thing is just so delicate, it's just gonna go tick, 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 and it's gonna lift those flies up just enough to keep them floating near the bottom, but it's not gonna rocket launch those things up. Obviously, there's some te technique involved too. You want to get your, your downstream lead tension just right, and that really, really helps. But I'm dialed on this thing now. That 10 foot 2 weight is a real sweetheart of a rod when it comes to presenting those smaller nymphs. As far as casting the bigger stuff, the 2 weight will handle it absolutely just fine. There's, there's no problem with that. The problem really becomes when I was fishing some crayfish and some jig streamers and stuff earlier. It seemed like the tip on the two-way didn't like to pull those heavier ones along quite as well. Casting, not a problem. Presentation, it was a little bit laggy. With the smaller flies, the two-way really picks them up nice and, and gets a, a real sweet presentation right on the floor. So here's a good up-close look at the, uh, the Loomis IMX Pro Euro. Uh, nice chocolate brown finish with kind of a satin finish to it. It's not too glossy. It's not going to sun flash and spook fish. I know that's a... A concern of some euro anglers because you will be close to the fish but it's clean nothing too fancy um, it's got a blacked out reel seat two split rings um, they're textured nicely so if your hands are wet and you need to retighten your your reel you can do that and i'll mention the fighting butt several times because i just think that fighting butt on the 10 foot 2 weight is so cool comes with a nice sock uh and then just a standard you know cordura style reel case so a rod case, nothing too fancy there. Um, there's another look at kind of the finishing components. Like I said, it's clean, not not too flashy. There's no act, you know, bright gold accents or anything like that. But yeah, a nice, clean, respectable rod, especially at that price. Um, we feel like for a U.S. built rod, the the IMX Pro is very trustworthy, reliable, and uh, very good value. Okay, so now that you've had a good look at the rod and uh, you've seen it in action out there on the river, let me tell you just kind of some of my thoughts on uh, the rod after just kind of sleeping on it, processing it a little bit. Um, I really like the finish of this rod at 575 bucks. I think it's nicely finished. I think that's a total upside. Uh, I like the guide placement. That first um, guide uh, is on the first section right there, so I'm not going to get quite as much sag, and I, I haven't measured it, but that's got to be about as tight a guide placement for the bottom guide as any rod out there. I mean, it's very close. So what we don't want is we don't want a big sloppy loop of line between my reel and the first guide. Um, there are a couple of bottles out there, and you want to watch for this, that have that first guide out there in the second section, more like a traditional uh, fly rod. Uh, the other thing is, um, I personally don't do this typically, but a lot of people do like to place their index finger on the blank uh, in order to feel the feel the bite, feel for sensitivity. 
and a lot of times sensitivity isn't always defined as a strike, but it might be, am I making contact with the bottom or am I up in the column? And the hook keep is, is kind of moved forward a little bit. There's no epoxy in that section right there, so you can put your index finger there. I do that off and on, um, but I think it's, it's a nice feature to have. It's there if you want it. Uh, the cork seems pretty tight. Um, my overall thoughts are I'm not going to try to characterize this rod as being the same as, you know, a $1,000 rod. Um, it's just not. It's not finished quite as nicely. The, the real seat isn't quite as nice. It's not going to have the sensitivity and be in the same game as like the Thomas and Thomas Contact 2 or the Sage ESN. And it, it's right kind of there with the Sage Sense. That's another one that we sell that's right in that category. Um, and in it, in the, an overseas built market, the Echo Shadow X is, is a, a viable competitor. Side by side, I'm probably paying an extra 110 bucks or 20 bucks in, in getting the IMX Pro. I really like the fighting butt. Even the 10 foot two weight has a little fighting butt right there. And that makes a really nice kickstand for when you set your rod and reel down like so. Um, but real base and componentry, but this is super durable. Um, it's kind of this rubberized cork or synthetic uh, deal. So I don't feel bad about setting it down on gravel or rocks or anything like that. Uh, I think I mentioned this in the fishing portion of it, but one of my biggest findings with this rod is on the 10 foot two weight, it really doesn't pick up the bigger flies if you're going to fish little sculpin jigs and big stonefly nymphs and salmon fly nymphs the two weight the tip doesn't want to pick those things up and keep them moving along and i really struggle to keep some of my bigger bugs moving along casting no problem this this rod will this rod will catapult pretty much whatever fly you throw on it. it's just going to load a little deeper but it's the control and getting that tip to pick those bigger flies up man it is super touchy though when you keep like Pertagon style nymphs, nymphs that make good contact and stay in good contact. The control you have with this rod is really immense. So um, overall, I I think it's a fabulous purchase, especially if you're a Loomis fan, you've been kind of waiting for those. We do have some in inventory now, we'll ship them same day. So there's a link to order uh, right there in the video description. Uh, great purchase, uh, definitely a step up from anything in that $300 range. It's gonna be a, a nice, uh, kind of step up if maybe you've been into Euro fishing for a while, you're looking to upgrade your game a little bit, or you're just jumping into it and you want something that's a little higher quality that's US built. Uh, I think it's a really good choice and fits in nice there. So yeah, absolute quality buy. We're glad to have Loomis making some rods again and be able to keep these in stock and ready to hook you up with, this, with some rods. So anyway, link to order in the video description, like and subscribe with the video, tell your friends about Reds. We ship fast and we'll get, take good care of you.